Good morning everyone. Welcome back to our online social studies class. Today's date is 12th of January 2021 and we'll be looking at our book, Social Studies, Student Book 31 to 32, Workbook page 13. Our core value is loyalty. And what is loyalty? Loyalty is remaining true to people who need me more, even when circumstances are tough. Our lesson objective. What is our lesson objective? Number one, to realize that the earth, that the earth is covered with land and water. And the second one is to be able to name some forms of land and water and specify their main characteristics. Vocabulary words. Let's talk about vocabulary words. Land. What is a land? A land is a solid part of the surface of the earth. Let's talk about earth. The earth, the, the planet, the planet on which we live is called what? Earth. Surface. The outer part or utmost layer of something is called a surface. High, something that is further up than normal, goes upward, is far above the ground, is called high. Flat, is something smooth and even. Now let's go to our topic. Our topic is land and water forms. Again, land and water forms. Our warm up. Now let's talk about the earth. This is a picture of the earth. What color can you see on this picture? The color green and blue. So in this lesson, we'll be learning what the color green stands for and the color blue stands for as well. So what do you think the color blue stands for? What do you think the color blue and the green stands for? So, the green stands for land, while the blue stands for water. So, I want you to know that the planet Earth consists of land and water. Now, the planet Earth takes part 70% 70, 70 of the Earth and why the land is 30%. Like I said before, the green is the land, while the blue is the water. Land and water. Let's see the definition of land and water. Now, the surface of the earth is covered with different kinds of land and water bodies. The surface of the earth is covered with different kinds of land and water bodies. We are going to click on the video to watch. I'll send the PowerPoint to the class dojo. Now let's talk about land form. Let's talk about the land form. Remember our topic is land and water form. But we will be looking at the land form. What is a land form? What is a land form? A land, land forms are naturally formed features that can be found on Earth's surface. Many of them are created by natural, natural forces such as the sea or the wind. Land forms often occur above the sea level but some can form under the ocean. Some land form can form under the what? Ocean. There are many different types of land form. So we are going to be looking at the types of land form in our lesson today. 
Now, let's take a look at the land form mountains. Again, the mountains. What is a mountain? A mountain is a very high land. The highest point of a mountain is called a summit. Now, let me show you the highest point of a mountain. This one is the highest point. All this part is called the highest point. The one that, that fits this place is the highest point. This is it. It is called the highest point. The highest point and it's also called the summit. The highest point of a mountain is called what? Summit. The highest point of a mountain is called a summit. Now let's take a look at the landform valleys. Can you see the picture of a valley? Now let's see the definition of a valley. A valley is a low land found between two mountains or hills. A valley is a low land found between two mountains or hills. Rainwater runs in valleys. Rainwater runs in valleys. So don't forget, a valley is a low land found between two mountains. This is one mountain and another mountain there. So, or between hills. Alright? Now let's talk about plains. Let's talk about what? The plains. A plain, a plain is a flat land. Many farms are found on plains. It's a flat land. Can you see? A very flat land. Many farms are found on plains. Let's talk about the hills. What is a hill? A hill is, a, is an area of high land but not as high as a mountain. A, a hill is an area of high land, but not as high as a mountain. Can you see the truck going up the hill? What is the difference between the mountain and the hill? Remember, the mountain is very high, but the hill and the hill is a little bit high, not as high as the mountain. It's not as high as the mountain. Now, what are the types of landforms again? What are the types of landform? The first one is what? The mountain. Mountain is one of the types of a landform. And what is, our, what's, what is the meaning of a mountain? A mountain is a very high land. A mountain is a very high land. Now let's talk about another type of landform. Another type of landform is what? Valley. And what is a valley? Valley is a low land found between two mountains or hills. A valley is a low land found between two mountains or hills. Another type of a landform is called plain. Again, plain. And plain is a flat land. A plain is a flat land. Many farms are found on plains. Many farms are found on plains. Now let's take a look at another type of landform. Another type of landform is called hill. A hill is an area of high land, but not as high as a mountain. Please remember, we have more, more types of landform, but these are just the fewer part of it. So, you go and make a research and look for another type of landform. A desert is also a type of landform. We have other types of landform. A volcano is also another type of landform. Can you tell me another type of landform that you, that you, that you know? Or you can make a research about it and tell your teachers in your various classrooms, okay? Now, now it is our activity time. Our workbook, page 13, lesson 1, land and water. Question 1 says, choose the correct word from the box to write the name of each 
drawing. Can you tell me what is this? It is called what? A valley. Remember, we said a valley is in between two mountains or hills. Anywhere you see high, a higher land like this landform, two mountains or hills, you should know that this is called a valley. A hill. This is a hill. Remember, the hill is not as high as a mountain. It's a high land also, but not as high as a mountain. And the other one is called a mountain. Again, mountain. Valley, hill, and mountain. Now, this is your worksheet. Earth is made up of land and water. Color the land green. Color the land green. Color the water blue. Remember, I said that the land consists of two. Sorry, the earth consists of two things. The land and the water. The land and the water. The land takes over 30% of the earth, while the, the water takes about 70% of the earth. So, we have more water on earth than the land, okay? Now, this is your homework, another worksheet for you. Complete each st statement by writing the correct word in the box. Choose your answer from the word below. Okay? Now, number one. Hadash is a very high land. The highest point of the mountain is called what? What is a very high land? A what? A mountain. Very good. A mountain. A mountain. Now, the next one is Two, Hadash is an area of high land, but not as high as a mountain. It is called what? A hill. Very good. Now, number three. Hadash is a flat land. Many farms are found on plains. Hadash is a flat land. Many farms are found on plains. What is it? A plain. Very good. Now, number four. A dash is a low land found between two mountains or hills. Rainwaters run in the valley. What is it? It is called a valley. It is called a what? A valley. Now, critical thinking. Now, I want you to think about it and make a research on it. Then you send to your teachers. Now, why do you think farms are found on plains? Why do you think that the farms are found on plains? I want you all to make a research about this and tell your teachers in your various classrooms. All right, students, thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed the class. I'll see you all in our next class. Don't forget, my name still remains Miss Martina. See you in our next class. Bye.